Hi there. For this video, we are tasked to find the smallest possible value of the given expression where a is a real number. So to do this, we first note that 9 minus a times 5 minus a times a plus 9 times a plus 5. So basically the expression can be rearranged as 9 minus a times 9 plus a times 5 minus a times 5 plus a. So I just use um, a rearrangement of the expressions inside the parentheses as well as this one over here, which is commutative. Since, as we can observe, we can apply the uh, product of this one. It's the difference of two squares. So this would become um, 9 squared minus a squared times 5 squared minus a squared. Or 81 minus a squared times 25 minus a squared. And then from here, we simply apply the um, FOIL method or the multiplication of binomials. So we have first is 81 times 25 minus the outer, this one. So that one is um, 81 a squared. And then the, in the inner, so that one is negative 25 a squared. Then the last terms, which is plus a raised to 4. Simplifying this, we will have a raised to 4. Then the inner terms out here, that would give us um, minus 106 uh, a squared. And then simplifying this 81 times 25 is 2000, 2025. And so we have this expression. So basically what we did here first is we converted the expression given into a form that would be helpful in us in getting the smallest possible value. So let's just clear out some space. Now here, we can let x equal a squared. So our expression would become, um, observe that we can write this one as a squared squared minus 106 a squared. 2025. So the expression will become in terms of x is x squared minus 106x plus 2025. Now observe here that this expression is actually a quadratic equation. So when we have quadratic equation, we can actually get its vertex. Indeed, no, re recall that in graph, a quadratic equation in graph is a parabola. So it's like this. So it's either like this or like that. But the thing is, since this one out here is positive, that means uh, the graph of the parabola here is opening upward. That means it's, it is in this form, opening upward. And so when we get this point out here, 
we know that this one is already its smallest possible value or its minimum value. Question is, how do we get that one? Luckily, we have what we call the vertex in parabola or the highest or the lowest point in a parabola. In this case, it is the lowest since this is a parabola opening upward. And fortunately, to get this, we simply have, we get the value of x equals negative b over 2a, where b, a, b is this one. a is the coefficient of the x squared, and b is the coefficient of the x term. So this one is simply negative times negative 106 all over 2 times a is simply 1 out here. So simplifying this would simply give us with 53. Now we know what 53 is to get the y value or the value of this expression since we can view this one as equal as y or this one is equal to y. So to get this value, we simply substitute 53 in this expression. So let's clear out some space. So we have at x equal 53, we have 53 squared minus 106 times 53 plus 2025. And you can verify this one as um, negative 784. And that is the answer for this problem. Why? Since we know that this one is equal to y, but y is equal to this whole expression, which again is equal to this one. Which means that we have found the smallest possible value of our original expression. So that is how we get or solve this problem. The key is starting to observe that we can convert the given expression into a quadratic equation and when it's quadratic equation, especially if it's opening upward or the coefficient of the x squared term is positive, this means that the graph of the equation is a parabola opening upward, which means that we can find its minimum value by getting its vertex. And just recall that the formula for vertex is to get is to um, let x equal negative b over 2a. Then substitute this x value to get the y value which is equal to our expression. So I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned in this video feel free to comment down below any comments or suggestion for our future videos also if you have your own solution to this one please don't hesitate to share it down below so that's it uh, that's all for today and thank you for watching this video